Read your Bible. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Say Amen. Acts chapter 4. From verse 23, the Bible says, And being let go, they went to their own company. Somebody shout, company. They went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth, and the sea and all that in them is, who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up, and the rulers, and so on and so forth. And the Bible says, uh, in verse 29, he says, And now, Lord, behold your threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness, the boldness they might speak the word, thy word, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaking where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they speak the word, the word with boldness. And the multitude of them that believe were of one heart and of one soul, neither said of any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. So here, right here, you see um, a group of people, actually uh, um, Peter and John, they were threatened by some authorities that they shouldn't preach in the name of Jesus, they shouldn't do all these things that they are doing, and then they went to their own company. Do you see? So every Christian must have his own company where he can go for prayers. So this week, we are doing your own company prayers. Yes. Your own company. And... Why am I saying that? Because all these are types and ways that you develop a good and a healthy prayer life. You have to learn how you pray with others. You have to learn how to go to your own company. When you don't join people to pray. Sometimes when you're on your own, you can't pray. How many understand what I'm saying? How many have been there when you couldn't pray for one day? And one week? And sometimes one month, you can say you struggle through the month and prayer has not happened properly. How many have experienced that before? Lift your hand. Uh -huh. Now, when that happens, your surest safety is to be with others who are praying. And that is why they say um, a Christian is like a coal of fire, which is in a coal pot. Is that how they say it? Coal pot? And then when the fire has been put in and all the coals have, have been lighted up and they are burning hot, when you take one out and put it aside, not with the others, it, it starts to fade, the fire starts to fade and then dims and then it dies out. And you can pick that coal and hold it with your hand and it will not burn you again. Why? Because it doesn't have its own company with, with whom it is bonded. So the heat that is from this coal and from that coal and from that coal and from itself has not disappeared. You see? So what happens is that there are many Christians who are not on fire for God because they don't have their own company. Do You see? Where they go for prayers, do you see where you go and you are sharpened and your lack of prayer and your prayerlessness and even, even when you are praying, you can see that you can't lift your voice beyond a certain decibel. So, so whispering, so, now you feel what you are praying about, and then you don't also know what you are praying about. Then the whole thing, your whole prayer experience is very difficult. But when you are with your own company, and they say, we are praying. Shall we pray? You force. You do well. Are you listening to me? So this week, 
our own company will pray on WhatsApp, will pray on Facebook or whatever area, then we will pray in person in our own company. So when you are let go, find your company from tomorrow morning at dawn. Somebody in your company will be on WhatsApp, on Facebook. And those of you who don't have a company, you are, your Christianity is very shallow. Yes. I'm telling you. Why are you when you are not strong too? Hmm? And when you are alone and you are praying, what are your prayer topics? My beloved, my husband, my job, my this, my that, my money, my this. It's like you don't have any topic beyond your little body, the world of your body, your continent, your body continent. Do you see? And that is changing from today. May God help you to change that. And this week, you are in a bar center, you are in a center. We are praying there. They will ring your bell, they will call your phone, they will alert you. It's time for prayer. And you shouldn't you shouldn't turn and, and pull the is there a cloth somewhere? You pull the cloth on top of your head, and it's like, oh me, I'm not the type who prays at dawn. Now I have a lot of things to do in the daytime. I cannot pray at dawn. <laughs> yes, you cover yourself and then you go to bed. Yes. And some of you, you don't know that. You don't, maybe you don't believe that God can affect your life. But he, he can. He has the capacity. Yes. Pray because, look. What did Paul say? He says, um, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Why? So that you'll be able to withstand in the evil day. And you think that there's no evil day. The Bible is not a a prophetic prophecy of doom. It's how life is. Yes. Somebody says, life happens. Life happens. Yes, it, it, it is what it is. It's like life. And you, you are in life. Yes. Catherine Kuhlman said, if you are part of humanity, there will come a time in your life when you need a miracle. Yes, if you are part of humanity. Unless maybe you are an apparition or a phantom. Yes, or some kind of mirage or an alien from maybe some outer space. Or maybe, you know Thanos. Have you heard of Thanos? Do you know Thanos? Do you know Thanos? Go and watch Endgame. Avengers Endgame. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you have not watched Avengers before. Because Nigerian movies now here. Who Avengers? I won't tell you. There's an, an evil man, a very strong evil man. He's called Thanos. Yes. Maybe you come from his world. Well, he, I don't think he prays. <laughs> I never heard, saw him praying even once. 